pets a big business in Australia. The market is thought to be worth anywhere from eight to $12 billion, with trends such as humanization driving demand for higher quality products and services. Research on what's best for our pets lies at the very heart of these trends, with consumers known to prefer products supported by evidence. Pharmaceutical leader Verbach know this better than anyone, as our reporter Dean Allen Craig found out. You've heard it said that for some, pets are like one of the family. But it seems increasingly pet owners are treating their furry friends more like people than animals. I would say to you that the ownership has just momentously changed in the last generation. Animals have gone from when I grew up, they were in the back garden, now dogs are in the bed. Marketing expert Matthew Cole agrees and says as consumers we're demanding and spending more on ourselves and our pets. We're spending a lot of money. The humanisation of, of our pets um, has meant that pet parents love to spend. Um, in Australia, the market is worth $12.2 billion. And the last three years, we've seen a 43% increase in what pet parents are spending. Many dog lovers in particular are treating their four-legged friends as their real children, like this group taking their furry families out for a puppuccino at Cafe Bones. It's so much fun because they, you know, obviously, all the other dogs to play with, they have their little puppuccino, <laughs> they love it. Well, how far would you go to, to look after Lexi? You know, I used to hear about people paying for chemo for their dogs and I didn't understand that until I got a dog of my own. And then I realised how much family she actually was. <laughs> Is she more like a canine or a person? A person, <laughs> definitely a person. Well, actually a naughty two-year-old. <laughs> This increasing demand for premium products for our pets extends to medical services and treatments. Animal health company and veterinary pharmaceutical manufacturer Verbach is responding with products to meet that demand, including an implant which provides a non-surgical and reversible option for dog castration. Well, surgical castration involves obviously surgery, staying for the day, having an anaesthetic. So for a lot of pet owners, it's a large procedure for them to have. This involves having an implant done during a consultation. The vet just simply implants it under the skin of the dog and then they go home and it's all done. In a recent survey, Verbach found one in five pet owners with intact male dogs wanting more information about castration options. And one in three owners saying a non-surgical option would increase their likelihood of castrating their dogs. It was very much um, that they just wanted to know what the alternatives might be because at the moment they're just being offered surgical castration in most cases. Um, so they just want to know what the options are, what the differences might be, what is best for their pet. Matthew Cole says consumers are demanding more options and better service and this includes their local vet. You're searching online, you're surfing, you're looking to find out what vet I'm going to go to. Um, you put in vet, you find your area. Um, there are reviews, there's a star rating. It's a given now. Consumers are better educated, or at least they think they're better educated. They've got far more options, um, and so they have more choice. Um, and, and, and people are maximising that. They're, they're demanding more. And if you're still in any doubt that people are treating their pets not only like family members but as actual people, look no further than the proliferation of pet minding, daycare, pet walking, pooch pampering services like Dog here in Sydney's Balmain. Melinda Arco has just booked rescue dog Chelsea in for a treatment and says she deserves all this pampering. For the joy she brings, it's totally worth it. And she loves going in there and getting pampered and cuddled and played with other dogs. She loves it, don't you, mate? Hey, don't you? It's all about more choices for pet owners. Products like Verbac's non-surgical de-sexing implant simply enable vets to offer their clients more options. We are now luckily in our profession, the research is catching up, like in the medicine field that has advanced. We, we have so much backup, we have so much facilities, so much services, where there's infinitely smarter veterinarians out there in the specialist uh, centres that are promoting all of what we can do for animals.